Hey there, welcome back to Reddit XO, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. I, 29 female, cheated on my husband, 35 male, of 10 years, how to move on from here. We've been married for 10 years and are the parents of three little boys. Many ups and downs have occurred in our marriage throughout the years, but notably in the past few years, I've always struggled with depression and I've been feeling fairly overwhelmed with my life for the last year. We don't have any family close, we're having difficulties with our children, and so on, and I've had several feelings of wanting to leave my life on a number of occasions. I love my husband, but I had an extramarital affair a few months ago. Our meetings were limited to three per year, yet we corresponded on a regular basis until all was revealed two weeks ago. I had an email account that was found by my husband, in which he was receiving correspondence from another person I had just met, despite the fact that we hadn't yet had any relations. Yes, I was beginning a new relationship at the time. After I've told him everything, he'll probably want to forgive me and go on with his life. The emotions he expresses towards me fluctuate from being very enraged, nearly to the point of going after the other person and harming him, incredibly depressed and hopeful slash compassionate. He is aware that this was not his true self. He has never done anything like this before, and he is determined to find out why he did it in the first place. He asked that I be tested for and treated for STD, which I dutifully completed. He immediately called the wives of the other two men to notify them of what had transpired. They were both shocked and disappointed. I'm not in contact with any of them at the moment, but I did talk with the one with whom I'd been conversing for the longest period of time, and the conversation was not nice. We were never in love, and being together was never an option for us, despite the fact that I feel we care for one another on a deep emotional level. Now, I'm left with the impression that I'm a complete, which is tough to accept. I'd want to be satisfied with my current marital situation. I'm willing to go to whatever extent to determine whether or not we can have a good relationship. What our children deserve is to be loved and cared for in this way. Meanwhile, each and every day is a struggle. He feels I don't really love him since I couldn't do the things I used to do for him. The other man lived a great distance away. There was a lot of deception involved in the few times I saw him. He'll interrogate me about the details of the affair, and I'll do my best to be open and honest with him, but he'll become angry if I don't. I pondered if it would have been better if I had just ended the affair, were focused my attention on my marriage and never informed him of my decision. This is very painful for both of us. If anybody has been through anything similar, I'd be interested in hearing what worked for them and how they went about rectifying the problem. Thanks. After the fact additional information. Someone has asked me to share more details regarding the relationship up to this point. I am happy to oblige. Since I was 17 years old, I'd been in a committed relationship with my husband. We used to be members of the same religious denomination, but in recent years I've given up all religion and he's gone to another. This resulted in complications. Aside from that, we had a ghost in our bedroom for a long time, which I ascribe mostly to my sadness and our damaged relationship, as well as years of pregnancy and breastfeeding. I'm not offering any justifications for what I did. There are none to be found. In recent years, though, our internet connection hasn't been up to par. Confidence, the experience has left me feeling completely deflated. I'm trying to come out of this haze and figure out what should be done next. Thanks. Story 2. Man cheats in seemingly happy relationship. Why? I began seeing a guy about a year and a half ago, and the experience has been nothing short of a roller coaster trip. We had an instant connection and fell head over heels in love with one another. In the first few months, we had deep conversations and spent a significant amount of time together. He told me he knew I was the one after only a few conversations. As part of our family dynamic, we brought in my children from a prior relationship, and they love him just as much as he does them. His immediate family has been quite supportive of me and my children over the years. After six months of dating, we decided that we wanted to have a family together, and both of our families were supportive of our decision to do so. He proposed to me when I was eight months old, and two months later, we discovered that we were expecting a child together. We've set our wedding date for April of this year, once the baby is born and we've gotten established in our new home. 
We have a good relationship since we live together and raise our children together. He is admiring and adoring and adoring. We have a great deal of fun in our relationship, and we don't fight or argue with one other. We also communicate well as a family. We spend the most of our free time together, as well as with his family, with whom he has a strong relationship. We have a great time together and enjoyed being in one other's presence. We made it through his contracting COVID and being terribly ill. I stayed by his side as he lamented the death of family members and friends, and he found comfort in my presence. We made it through this together. During the closure, we had some financial issues as a group, but we were able to overcome them by relying on one another, working together, and being positive. Even though we've gone through a lot in such a short period of time, none of it has been particularly unpleasant since we've been through it together. We've spoken about it a lot and found comfort in our connection. It happened by coincidence that I came across evidence that he has been unfaithful throughout our relationship just as I was about to give birth to our child. Despite the staggering number of women with whom he communicates, I have learned that he has had physical relationships with at least a few of them. Moreover, there does not seem to be any consistency in the female's appearance. They differ in age, race, and physical form. While some of the women are old friends from his past, Others are brand new acquaintances he has made over the internet. One of my friends found evidence of my presence and confronted him. She says he told her he was only with me because of the baby. It was that delicate situation. I'm taken aback. I had no idea what was going to happen. No matter where he found the time or how he managed to squeeze it in, this discovery has absolutely shattered my heart. While he promises to quit and says he has no clue why he is doing it, I know that he is serious. He says he loves me and wants to marry me so that we may spend the rest of our lives with one other. His mother is urging me to give him another opportunity, despite the fact that she is astonished and appalled by his behavior, and she has expressed her feelings to him directly. The world makes no sense. Many who see us together can sense our affection. I am often complimented on our relationship and how healthy and loving it seems to be from the outside. No explanation comes to mind for this to be happening. Our connection does not seem to be missing in any way. We are physically and emotionally attached, and he appears to be completely entranced by me at all times. Several of his colleagues and close friends, as well as his family, are acquainted with us as a couple and as a developing family, which we display with pride both in public and in private settings. When I'm with him, I've never felt happier or more loved than I do right now. They are in every manner, a vast dark horrible secret that he has managed to keep hidden from me and everyone else he loves about, even his mother. Could someone please explain how this might have happened and what could have prompted someone to act in such a heinous manner? The situation has me absolutely bewildered and I'm not sure how to move from here.